see six people out there. Perfect. Yeah. And so okay. if you're doing anything, just let me know by cell phone. I'll jump back on the meeting and help you out with anything. So okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. That sounds good. And I um, emailed with Katie a little bit before. She just needs like our start time, probably finish time. And then she doesn't need detailed minutes, but she does need like just like bullet points of what we did and what we decided. Right. So did everybody get a chance to go through the applications? Yeah, I did a, a first scan. I did a first pass through them. Um, Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I was just, would it be easier just to either throw out, see who we didn't like, I guess, or who we do like, you know, whittle them down? Yeah. Well, I mean, we can I have my that. yes stack and I have my not yes stack. <laughs> okay. And I have like, kind of my top three, but I'm open to changing that um, as well. Okay. Uh, so, so you just want to do the yes stack versus? Sure, we can start, we can start with that and see where the overlap is. Okay, great. Karen, Karen did you want to go first? Sure, I started with Terry Brown, um, Gentry Smith, um, James Larritz and Daniel Nolan. Okay, now I think that Terry Brown that was the add on, yeah, yeah. And he's 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 uh he's the only one that doesn't reside in Webster but said he would be willing to move. Yeah, Dr. People said that he's looking at property and is willing to move if selected. Okay. So that's good. I had um I had Terry Brown and Gentry Smith on my list too, and also um, Greg, I'm not sure how to say his last name, Bra, Bro, who's mm -hmm. our current provisional judge and had a good letter of recommendation from the, um, the city court clerk. Okay, so what was your third one? Uh, Emily? So um, Greg Bra, Gentry Smith, and Terry Brown, and all of those have, um, already have municipal judge experience. So I thought that was was good. Um, we can definitely go deeper if we wanna look at people who don't have that experience. Gentry Smith is currently the municipal judge for Shrewsbury and Grantwood yeah. Village. So I thought that was kind of like a nice um, synergy there if that were to work out. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And um, our cur current provisional judge, I thought uh, looked great and would be interested in keeping him on the short list too. Well, I had uh, Daniel, uh, Nolan. Um, Jim Larritz. Mm -hmm. And I have Patricia Susi, mm -hmm. S-U-S-I. Yeah. And let's see. I didn't get nothing mixed up. And I had um, Gregory Brow, bro. I mm -hmm. had him up as a just a, a, a good applicant, but maybe. I kind of felt the same way there. I mean, you know, I, I, what I don't want to do is just sort of make it an automatic that mm -hmm. the provisional is just. Oh, yeah, I think we just need to make some definite decisions. Yeah, yeah. I think we just um, make, need to make some decisions around there. I just I, I really like the. Um, well, anyway, I gave you mine. I mean, and I'm not sold on who are the, the pick that one pick needs to be. Do you know what I mean? I don't have really a strong feeling on that, but I, I would like for our provisional judge to end up on our interview list um, if that mm -hmm. works out for everybody else too, but we yeah. can talk about that. And another, I had another one that, that I do check marks, X's and circles, <laughs> but I did about, um, let's see, did somebody call out uh, Gentry, A Gentry? Yeah, uh -huh. A Gentry said that's the, the municipal. All three of us have him. 
down. That's well, uh, I don't know if Emerson was he on your list. He's on our list, Karen. Yours no, oh, you, no. you, you, yeah, I'm sorry. I yeah. got him. I got him as a a, a maybe. Mm -hmm. So I, anyway. I'm like Emily. I, I like it. Just seems like yeah, from a synergistic perspective, and the com the 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 similar municipalities that he's been engaged with. And you know, especially with reference to Shrewsbury, um, but yeah, wow. yeah. And I thought Terry Brown looked great. He's got the uh, experience from Ferguson, and before that, he was a state court judge for many years. So I feel mm -hmm. like he has really great judicial experience. Mm -hmm. The only downside to me is that he doesn't currently live in Webster, and that feels like a big ask for somebody for a part-time position to to move, but. Yeah. If he's planning on moving anyway, then that's totally fine. And it sounds like he's open to it. So I don't want to take him off since he's willing. No. But that was like the only, you know, not uh, the only kind of thing on the other column for me. And I guess that's the question then. Was is, was he planning on moving here anyway? Or Dr. People is said he he's been looking at property. So yeah. I don't know to what extent that. that. Yeah. Um, Terry Brown. He was trying to see what. Um, do, 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 do. Where is he? You want to deal with his app now? Harry Browns was just like a one pager. Um, yeah. Actually, yeah. two, but but yeah, one yeah, got uh, education on the last. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I didn't include him in my choices only because he seems to have more corporate. He I don't know if that's a he or she. I guess that's a he. He yeah, I looked him up. He it's he. Yeah. Had more corporate experience. You think he, um, this is the one who was the municipal judge in Ferguson and was a state. Uh, state court judge associate for circuit judge for the judicial court of Charleston, years? Missouri. Yeah, and right. Yeah, and, he was and in Ferguson. An attorney. It was in Ferguson. I don't. I, don't I, I can't see where he um, was actually active in the court system. Looked like he was active in rewriting the court rules, policies, procedures. Oh, um, I thought he was the municipal judge from Ferguson for. He is. I mean, he was yeah. the municipal judge of uh, the city of Ferguson from 2016 to 2019. Yeah. Okay. Asso Associate Circuit Judge yeah. in Charleston, Missouri from 91 to 2014. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For 24 years. Yeah. He. Uh, he doesn't really have any corporate on his. Maybe we're thinking of somebody different. Maybe somebody different. Yeah, his his um. Oh yeah, there was a banker. Yeah, I, I, you're correct. But I don't know. He, I just wasn't impressed with him. I I did read his read his resume. Um. I just thought it was a stretch for him to want to move out of the Lafayette Square area to Webster. How fast can he do that? Because we're looking to put um, the individual on the job for with mm -hmm. uh, Judge Whitney's last what month? Last month is in June or is it July? Uh, June would be his last month. Yes, I, I don't know how fast he can transition um, to Webster. Yeah. So, I, like I said, I think somebody said it was a big ask for him to do that. But, um, but I think other than I think his resume looks great. I mean, he's 35 years as a state court judge, municipal court judge, prosecuting attorney and mediator. Right. right. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I think that's a question. I don't think that's something you assume is a issue or a problem, because, again, we still don't know if that question is he's moving for this or he was trying to move anyway. We don't know. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So. So do we want to, um, I think we have six people of the 10 that are on at least one of our lists. Do mm -hmm. we want to look at the other four or are we going to move the other four to the no pile? Well, the Stephen Zarkey, is he a no to everybody? He was not on my list. Um, Matthew Potter, 
Derek Seek and Peter Corsale were not on my list either. Yeah, Stephen Zarkey, Matthew Potter, and um, Patricia Susie are not on my list. And Patricia's um, on your list, Emerson, I think. Yes. And, you know, um, let me get her up here. Um, And I can tell you what ran through my mind. I think she, Patricia, Patricia, here she is. Um, yeah, she's a principal now at Curtis, Hines, and Garrett. That's a nice little firm. Um, and she dealt with um, family issues, divorces, mm -hmm. uh, prenuptial agreements, and all that good stuff. And look at that, she's done that her entire um, law career. And I, you know, on the other hand, I thought that it was just too heavy in that area. It just seems like it's just all isolated to one type of, uh, you know. Well, when you go to these law firms, uh, they they have you put in a specialty bucket. You know, your specialty might be taxes or like this lady. Uh, uh, well, and she's in a specialty bucket because any and everything that she's ever done has only to do with family law. Yeah, she has a, even if you go down her professional contributions and honors, every absolutely everything. Which fits with her education because she does have that certificate in women and gender studies. So, I right. feel, you know, that's probably something that's a passion of hers. Right. Yeah. And another thing that, that um, she was the only female, I believe, that applied. Mm -hmm. I believe that's correct. Mm -hmm. and And that's as one, I think she has the, the criteria or the um, the um, yeah, I, I think she has the not the skills, but the um, resume looked good, and she was a woman. Uh, I I, I kind of lean. You know, that was that a position, it appears to be, but Judge Whitney has been there for so long, but I didn't want to make it a good old boys um, position. Yeah, I mean, the requirements are just three years of work experience practicing law, um, as far as like the resume goes. Yeah. So you have to be admitted to practice law in Missouri, be a resident and elector and be uh, less than 75 years of age. Yeah. So that, that, that's, that's kind of, I saw she had the credentials and, and I did put it because she, uh, I don't think there are any other minorities in this bunch. Um, but I, that's, I, I did consider her. Mm -hmm. So did we, um, let's see, um, A. Gentry Smith is out. No, he's on both of our lists. He's on both of our lists. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, he is. I got it. So, so if, question if you look at, at Dr. People's email, like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if we make mm -hmm. Terry Brown number 10, um, number one is on my list and your list, Emerson. Number right. two and three aren't on any of our lists right now. Number four is on Emerson's list. Number five is on my list and Karen's list. Number six and seven are on your your two lists. Karen and Emerson have both six and seven. Eight and nine on, aren't on either of our lists, any of our lists. And 10 is on my list and Karen's list. So I don't think we have anybody that has all three of us, but we have quite a few that have two. Two. So for the ones that have none, do we need to discuss those or should we move on and concentrate on the ones that do have? Uh, well, I, I think let's discuss them briefly, you know, so we feel comfortable and saying that that's why we put them to the side. Okay. So you want to do Zarki first? Let's start from the bottom up. Sure, we can do yeah. Zarki first. I mean, for, for my list, I just picked my top three based on 
the experience that they have. So I didn't necessarily put somebody on the no list because of something on their resume, but more mm -hmm. like I added people to the yes list because of something on their resume. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Uh, but Zarki didn't impress me any. He doesn't have any judicial experience yet. Although every, you know, if you want to get in that road, you have to start at some point some. in time. Um, he does <clears> have, you know, quite, you know, 20 years of experience as an attorney. Yeah. Education looks good, although. Uh, to, a, my other concern is um, uh, making sure that this person has some empathy with that is so hard to tell from the no. you know, from the materials that we have on them without kind of meeting. well but if you look at some of the uh, some of because the one young man i really like his um his uh where is he i i really like his volunteerism the stuff that you talk about people showing where their passions are um, I think that's Dan Nolan. Um, Nolan? Yeah. Yeah, his volunteer experience. And, and, and my mind there, um, Emily, was going toward, you know, just people being a little, having some compassion and broad-minded. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so join hands, ESL volunteer, mentor young boys from underprivileged backgrounds in the East St. Louis area. St. Louis County Older Residence Program, Attorney Draft Wheels, Powers of Attorney, Real Estate Deeds for Underprivileged Senior Citizens, City of St. Louis Board of Elections Administrative Specialist, mm -hmm. Orleans Parish Public Defender's Office, City of St. Louis Drug Court Administrative Volunteer, or I mean just, and and it's sort of broad, but it, it, it it's yeah, a and, willingness to engage and reach out to people that need assistance that oftentimes you know, so um, and then the professional assist, associate attorney partner, right, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I was that to me spoke to his empathy and his his character and his ability to reach out. Yeah, okay. in his letter, he says that he's um, practiced in nearly ever every municipal court in the greater St. Louis area and other areas in Missouri. So even though he doesn't have judicial experience, he does have municipal court experience, which I think yeah. is And point. if you look at his professional experience with Castle and Williams, you know, he dealt with criminal, civil, municipal, and traffic matters. Mm -hmm. Holling Shed, Dudley Partner, uh, mm -hmm. criminal, civil, Right. municipal traffic so he so so he has he has the experience mm -hmm. uh, well he's on your both of your lists and i'm happy to add him to my list as well i think he looks very strong so is it safe to say nolan is one we will submit put on the I, at Nolan's this point one in time three, i would I put would him say. on the list yeah yes. okay so we talked about zarki do we want to talk about matthew potter next yeah that's fine I think he's the next one up. Did we, did we determine that Darkie was a no? Yeah, we, I think yeah. We, we did. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Potter, you said, uh, Emily? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the, he was above, uh, just on the on the numbered list that we got, he was above yeah. Darkie on that. Where is he at? And, you know, one other thing before we move off from completely about Nolan, he did take the time to get some some references. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people mm -hmm. send them in. Mm -hmm. He had two from Kessler Williams, and I guess he must, there's another guy must be a general counsel with Edward Jones. Yeah, Justin Harmon, associate general counsel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Green Kessler Williams. Um, oh, that's Daniels. Um, Yeah, I know he did have, uh, I think, at least two letters. Yeah, he did. That kind of made a difference to me, too. If somebody took the time mm -hmm. to, you know, do more than just go in and fill out the application and then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just flip it over there and say, okay. Yeah. But I, I was, I was, I, I, like, I really liked him. 
Yeah. Okay, so Nolan, we have on the list. Nolan, we have on the list. And we're gonna look at Potter. Yep. Uh, that's the one. That's the one I was thinking of having nothing but corporate experience. Yeah. I, you know you, what? Yeah. Me too, um, Emerson. I wasn't. And and as I as I went down here, I really kind of. He has corporate for the last 10 years, but he does have five years of on at the Board of Elections. Is that as he was in-house counsel for the Board of Elections? Yeah, that's oh yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, I, I you know what? I just this honestly just ran cold for me. It just felt like to your point, you know, um, I, I just didn't feel any. Well, I'll say this. I, I just think there was other candidates with better experience than, than he had. Yeah. So that's, that's what kind of threw him to the bottom of my pile. Okay. Yeah. And to your point, like you said earlier, it wasn't that I def definitely said just no to somebody. It said I said yes to somebody else. You can only say yeah. more. And as I and as I read through, he went through his. It just, um, again, I, I'm um, the need to have some type of. It just ran cold for me, you know. I just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay. then the next um, one that didn't have any votes was Derek. Yes. Uh, and I, I did get a note from Councilman Franklin that he knows him and that he says he's a great attorney. Um, yeah. yeah but and he also made the comment he is very young. Yeah, that's my that's my problem there. You know, I don't mean to be ages, but I mean there's still a lot to be said for experience. Experience, right. yeah. And exposure. And and I would hate to have, yeah, that's that was my thought there. So no. Me. Well, I mean, if he was young and he had municipal experience, then you know what I mean that that would kind of balance that out a little bit. Um, right. Years of experience and all. Right. I just didn't. Uh, yeah, the experience. I, I didn't see the experience in this area with him. As a fact, I'm trying to think. Did I see any experience at all? Well, I mean, right now he's. I mean, well, he basically. Um, I, I didn't, I, it, it just wasn't there for me. Yeah, so, so we agree with to put him off to the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works. And then the next one is Peter Corsell, or uh, I'm not sure how to say his last name either. Peter. Um. Where did that one go? Oh, I couldn't print. I, that must be the ones I couldn't print out. One of them I was having, I couldn't print out. Yeah, it's it's pretty small print on this, um, like a forwarded email from from HR to Dr. Peoples to, to a PDF to us. So mm -hmm. let's see, he is currently a partner at McCarthy, Leonard and Kemmer. Been there since 2019. He's a trial attorney there. Um, prior to that, he was at... Polsonelli for seven years. Um, prior to that, he was at Gallup, Johnson, and Newman for about five years. And he was at Hepler Broom uh, for three years at the beginning of that, prior to that. Uh, he does have three professional references listed. And let's see. Yeah, Went to law school. James Tory. Uh, University of Illinois, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, from what I saw, he's an attorney, but I didn't see any type of municipal experience. I didn't either. And I didn't, we didn't have like a letter from him or anything explaining more about his interests. So it just didn't rise to the top for me. Yep. Everybody in agree with me that's a. Uh, off to the side. Yeah, that works for me. Um, okay. Um, so then if we talk about one, two, three, four, 
five that we haven't talked well we've talked about some of them in passing but yeah um who do we want to look at next you want to start with our current provisional judge yeah, yeah, that's topic? fine is that um greg yeah. bra so i really liked the letter from the um the court administrator mm -hmm. i thought that was uh, she's worked in the municipal court for 12 years and um, talked Isn't about she how... on our charter commission. I, I thought I remember so. when we were interviewing people for the charter commission that one of the people that we selected and actually made, I think, the chair or something of the charter commission was uh, an administrator of the of our municipal court. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I don't think I've seen Jeannie Kirkton. Jeannie Kirkton is the chair. Okay. Okay. But yeah. but there was somebody that was my somebody that we selected and she was um uh, hold on let's see that was. But this, the, the um, bro, bro, whatever, whatever, whatever his name is, <clears throat> he's in private practice, and yeah. he sits he sits in for Judge Whitney when he's not able to be there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how no, often, no. right? How often has been? I'm not sure. It looks like he's been the provisional judge since you know for like the last six years, seven years. Yeah, and. I, he doesn't detail any of his uh, legal work. I mean, he's in private practice, but what has he specialized in? Mm -hmm. I did but Shanna Johnson's letter I thought was really good, you know, talking about how he treats defendants and. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, and I, 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 I got the impression that maybe she's worked with him outside of Webster Groves. I don't know, because I mean, she's a our full-time court administrator. Right, and she says for the last 12, was it 12 years, she said? Yeah, I have had 12 years of experience working with municipal court. Oh, that's her. And have yeah. many professionals come and go judge great as one of I've worked with. Oh God, I break that wrong. I thought she had 12 years with working him. with him, but no. No, 12 years with us. Yeah. So I, I, feel, uh, I felt like that letter was um, definitely a strength for him. Yeah, yeah. Especially when we talk about, you know, you can't really get the vibe of how people are going to, you know, personalities and how they'll treat other people from just printed resumes. But mm -hmm. that's somebody who's worked with him and had good things to say. So I thought that was positive. Yep. Um, but you still don't think he might have done a little more to give us an idea of. Well, that's what I, I said. It he could, he could have. He didn't give me the experience. Sure. What kind, of, what kind of attorney experience has he had? He's in private practice, but did he specialize in We've got criminal... professional references. Who is that? Well, he says references. Please list three. Well, that's on the application. You know, He's got, um, yeah. He has three. He, no, no, no. I know. That's just yeah. what I'm saying. On the, on, oh, yeah. the, on the application, he said, you know, he lists three professional references, high school, undergraduate, da, 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 um, Wash U Law School of Yacht Law, self-employed as attorney in private practice um, since 1978. Um, I, I certify the stuff. We got the letter from Shanna. We got a letter from him saying, you know, he's a provisional municipal judge for Webster and he was appointed to that position in 2016. I've submitted for Judge Whitney, you know, a number of occasions during the last seven years 
I'm compliant with the continuing legal education required by the Missouri Bar Association for the Use of Judges. I've lived in Webster Groves and practiced law for more than 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, well, here's my- I don't see uh, much uh, effort to let us know what he's done. You know, we got- a circle of mine is that, for one, he didn't list any of his, uh, what he's specializing in attorney, what type of uh, attorney he is, municipal, civil, whatever. And, and for references, he used uh, Judge Whitney, Mm -hmm. Jennifer Deschamps and Shanna Johnson, all those are Webster Groves employees. And I, did you notice on Shanna's, it says um, that she's now with the St. John Municipal Court. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not she's sure formally Webster Groves. She Grove. said formally Webster Groves. Yeah, that yeah, didn't later. really come out in the, in the letter. So maybe she wrote the letter um, prior to leaving. Mm -hmm. or, you know, she's saying that she worked with him while she was there, you yeah. know, yeah. but, you know, I, I just honestly for for me for that one, what I did when I read this, I, did, I really didn't see information provided that we had on others that tried to let us know what they've done, how it applies, whatever. And I don't want to just kind of look over someone else making an assumption that because he's a uh, uh, pro provisional judge now that that's an automatic. I don't, I don't. Should we set him to the side, like not make a yes or no choice, but set him to the side while we talk about the others? Yeah. That'd be fine. And, and the one thing that and this is really picky on my side, you know, this letter from Shanna Johnson is not signed. It's not dated either. No. Ooh. And it's not to us either it's a, <laughs> it may concern. concern so i'm not sure when she wrote it i'm, I don't not, know when I'm she wrote. not feeling this <laughs> that that I mean, was uh, in my no just... pile and it's still in my no pile i'm sorry yeah I... all right so let's I... move on to um so going is, back is, down the list is, to patricia is bro out or he's we still going to put him off to the maybe side. set him to the side i'm okay all right set him to the side now, Patricia Susie, all I have on her is a resume. Did you have more than that? No, all I have on her is a resume. So that was another thing. Like we didn't get, I don't know if she didn't fill out the whole resume or we just didn't get it. I, and you I don't, she and didn't fill out what? Uh, application, you mean? Yeah, sorry, not the resume, the application. Oh. Well, I'm sure. It's I don't, here yeah, that, that didn't bother me because it didn't tell us anything anyway. Well, it would have like professional references on it and things like that, but she does yeah. have a pretty detailed resume. She does have a personal a section at the end of that, um, mm -hmm. a little bit of mm -hmm. insight into her as a person, which is nice. Yeah. I, you know, I think, um, let me see her experience. The child abuse proceedings, adult prenuptials, legal experience. Legal separations for other prenuptial agreements. She's been in that area. That 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 is her special. That is where she has been since 1998, really. Yeah. And um, well, I don't see any like municipal connection, which is not required, but is just kind of like something that I've been looking for. Yeah, her. Uh, she's had criminal matters, but not a municipal. Mm hmm. So. I would think, I would hope that, like, I don't know her, but I would hope that working in this field that she would have, you know, quite a bit of empathy and on that field be, that would be a strength. Yeah, I, I, I didn't get a chance to look up some of these cases that she referenced um, to see how they were, but they are. Um, her appellate had, experience? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and I, like I said, the, her her history didn't bother me too much. I, but I will say again that I, if, if there were two women, three women, you know, I would make, I would probably put her to the side and look at the other two. I, I just want to make sure we do a, a diversified search uh, on 
on it, especially since you know we're working to get more volunteers, not necessarily employees, in into our um, area. So if if we want to put this one to the side, not to the side, say no, I don't think you get much argument out of me. It just I want to just make sure we did a due diligence by looking at her carefully. I mean, I'm okay setting her to the side for now while we look at the at the other um, one, two, that three that we have left. Okay. Unless you're ready to make a definite thumbs up, thumbs down on this, and then I can I can always come to a decision <laughs> if I'm pushed. Well, like I said, it 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 if if she's thumbs down with you and Karen, I don't have a problem going there as well. I felt like other people were more qualified, but I also like the idea of diversifying things and keep, keeping people in the mix as, as far in the process as we as we can. Mm -hmm. So I, I do understand like um, keeping her on the list, but I, I when we're if we're looking for three, I feel like we might have three candidates that are stronger. And if we want to offer four to the council, then give we her could. make do her the fourth. We could yeah. do that. We could do that. Well, let's put this one aside with uh, with Greg. Okay. Greg. All right. I'm sorry, Greg was what was Greg's last name? B R O U A G A. Oh, bro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then we've got um, Gentry Smith. Let me get back there. Okay. <clears throat> he has municipal experience, a lot of it. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been in Maplewood, Olivet, Shrewsbury, Grantwood Village. Uh, I, I guess what would really concern me, I guess, I guess he did an excellent job while he was there, okay job, but he did move. He did move where? from city to city. He's now. Um, well, I think he picked up additional cities. I mean, like he had Maplewood and all of that at the same time. Mm hmm. Like well, he had Maplewood and then he picked up all of that. Um, and then in Shrewsbury in, in 2017, sorry, he gave those up and went to Shrewsbury and then picked up Grantwood Village. Yeah. Uh, and he was not the municipal judge at all of that in Maplewood. He was yeah, he was a provisional judge. Provisional of the other. Oh, where'd you see that? Did I, did I miss that? Yeah, from approximately 2008 oh, to 2017, oh, oh. he served as a provisional judge for the city of Olivet. Olivet and from yeah. 2004 to 2017, and there was overlap there. He served as a provisional prosecutor for the city of Maplewood. So mm -hmm. both of those were provisional roles and neither one of them, um, I think additionally, I've had experience in the municipal courts of University City and the city of Velda Village since October, 2022. I've had the honor and pleasure of serving on the municipal as the municipal judge for Grantwood Village. What is Grantwood Village? It's uh, right by Shrewsbury, Afton. Uh, okay. Yeah. A little, it's a little, little bitty one. Plot the land. <laughs> right there. A little bitty one. So, so those are are pretty much. I mean, those provisional roles were things that he did, you know, simultaneously. So it wasn't like he was moving around. And then, like you said, even as a provisional, you just sit in every once in a while. So it's not like mm -hmm. that's something that you. But it does give you some exposure. Mm -hmm. Um, and you, exposure to mis municipalities that are similar to ours. And he's been an attorney at his firm since July of 2014. So throughout those, you know, judge roles, he's his constant, you know, employment has has not changed. Right. It, but like I say, with this one firm, two firms, he's responsible for preparation and trial by jury. He didn't do it. He just prepared for it. Where? What are you look? Where are you looking? I'm looking at Mon. How you pronounce that? R A I C. -G -E. Okay. Yeah, you know, he said he's responsible for preparation and trial by jury of personal injury. He didn't. He didn't do the case. He just got it ready. Conducted mm -hmm. numerous client and witness interviews. Responsible for preparing clients and witness for depositions. 
conducted and defended depositions in preparation for trial? I don't know. I think, I think I read that first bullet point differently. I think he's responsible for preparation and the trial. Yeah, but that's Which, where that, are you? Where are you reading? Uh, the <laughs> second page of his resume at the top, where it has um, Mon, Reichel, Hartley, French, and Mud, and it says attorney, and then he has six bullet points for yeah. what he did there. Attorney responsible for preparation and trial by jury of personal injury and wrongful death cases related to mesothelioma. So I don't no take that as only preparation. I think he did the prep and the trial. And I trial, did, yeah. Uh, I think he did the preparation trial. for the trial. I, I don't but think it doesn't he say did. his preparation for the trial. It says it's for preparation and trial by jury. By jury. But preparation is right there in front of it. He, I, don't, I don't, well. Before the and. Well, I would think that any judge has to prepare for a yeah. trial, don't they? He's not a judge. I mean, any attorney. attorney? Any attorney has to prepare for, prepare for a trial. I think he was the attorney that worked for another attorney. I think he did the prep work for another attorney. He got numerous. Um, well, even if you let go of the first line, that's pretty much all he did. He was for responsible preparation. for preparing clients and witnesses for depositions, conducted and defended depositions in preparation for trial, prepared motions and responded to defense motions. Negotiated with defense counsel, da, 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 da. St. Louis County Prosecutor's Office, Clayton, sexual assault team attorney responsible for preparation and trial, but jury of misdemeanor and felony cases, member of sexual assault case team responsible for the evaluation and filing of felony cases, conducted court proceedings such as preliminary hearings, guilty pleas and probation, da, 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 presented cases before the grand jury conducted depositions, Kansas City. What is SATOP? Uh, circuit attorney, TOP unit attorney, responsible for individual I case I think it load. might be sexual assault again, maybe. Yeah. I just took it that he did a lot of preparations for the trial. He never did, he didn't do the trial be prepared for it. Mm. Well, I don't, I don't read it that way. Um, he's an attorney. He presented cases before the grand jury when he was at the prosecutor's office. Yeah. At the grand jury. Yep, but that he did. He presented cases before the grand jury. He presented the case. He didn't prepare for the case. He presented the case. But he's well, doing do you want him both. to present or do you want him to prepare? Yeah, you, you, he's so well, one and you say he didn't. When you, when you prepare for a case, you're doing a lot of paperwork behind the scenes. So he's and done hopefully that you're doing a good job so the, so the case is won. You know, it's I mean, our same. case is done. At the, when, when you have a, a, an attorney that he might do the depositions, here, they might do the, look uh, at his letter. Know. Look at his letter. Um, the third paragraph talks about let's see. He had, like, Roger joining uh, I worked at a state prosecutor over 16 years. Prior to joining the law right. firm of Maple, uh, Maplewood Richmond Heights, or is that MF? Is that what that is? No, it's but. Oh, it's that's his. his <laughs> it does that's look like his, uh, That's his Armand um, Rich Hartley at French and number Mud. I had worked as the state prosecutor for over 16 years. Okay. During which time? During this I tried, time, I yeah. tried a number of felony and misdemeanor jury trials in both trials in both St. Louis County and Jackson County, Missouri. During my time with the prosecutor's office in St. Louis and Jackson counties, I had the opportunity to handle a wide spectrum of cases, including murder prosecutions. Uh, da, da, da. Additionally, during my time as an assistant prosecutor, I had the opportunity to work with hundreds of victims, witnesses, and police officers, all from diverse and different backgrounds. So if you're the prosecuting attorney, at what point does that not communicate that you are the attorney doing attorney? I was, I was reading his resume and how he detailed what he did. Know that his resume, I mean, his letter says one thing, but his resume says something entirely different. Mm -hmm. To me, that's how I read it. And he might have done more uh, trial work itself when he was at the prosecutors and do more behind the scenes now at the law firm. That's very possible. Well, even when he was at uh, this first 
company, Mon, Richie, Hotley, French and Mud. I mean, that's what in 2017, he had the distinct honor and pleasure of being appointed municipal judge for the city of Shrewsbury. So mm -hmm. for six years now, well, five and a half, he's been an actual municipal judge for the city of Shrewsbury. During my time as municipal judge for the city of Shrewsbury, I've personally been involved in updating and revising many aspects of Shrewsbury courts operations, including the court rules, operating procedures for prisoner processing and bonding, which all of that prep prepared him for. Mm -hmm. Additionally, I have worked diligently and closely with municipal court personnel in the Shrewsbury Police Department to ensure that the court is in compliance with provisions. Da, 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 da. I, I don't have any problem with his experience. It seems like he's he's got a lot of experience beside, behind the scenes in front of in front as a as an attorney, especially as a prosecuting attorney and assistant of prosecuting attorney, as well as five years experience as a municipal judge. That's 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 what I see. Yeah. Okay. So we want to put him in the yes column. That works for me. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I had him with the X and a check mark. So <laughs> okay, I, so you I, still I, okay. I was, okay. So you well, I'm saying okay. I, I can I can I can go either way with them. So yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put him in the yes column. Okay, so then we've got Jim Laritz. I really like talk about this not being you know very diff very the the challenge of getting um uh, a feel for people's character. Well, he did a good job of putting it on paper to me, his cover letter. His cover letter. Mm -hmm. I really like a judge, of course, because he says, I've applied for the position. Please allow this to serve. I received a law degree in 86 from the University of Missouri, Columbia. Um, until 1990, I was assistant circuit attorney in the city of St. Louis. That year, I went into private practice, although I've never worked as a judge, and he said straight up, municipal or otherwise, I have extensive courtroom experience. In my career, I've tried over 150 trials and have appeared before municipal, state, and federal judges thousands of times, representing all manners of clients and all kinds of disputes. I believe my experience and observation over the year have allowed me to discern the qualities that make a good judge. A judge, of course, must be knowledgeable of the substantive law of court proceeding of procedures. Karen, More important. Karen. Hmm? Are you trying to convince yourself or? No, no, I'm getting to where I think that he has basically, I'm convinced. I don't need to convince I, myself. I give him a thumbs up. I think everybody agreed on him. Uh, he wasn't oh. on my list, but but he is now. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. So there's three. That's three. So, so we had um, Greg and Patricia that we set to the side, and then we had Terry Brown. Yeah, I, I got an X on Terry Brown. We didn't put he was oh, on my we? list and Karen's list, but he wasn't. Okay, well, let's yeah. look at Terry Brown then. Let me find his, I keep losing his because it is fairly brief. There it is. Okay. So he he's the one who has 35 ex years of experience. He was a circuit judge, yes, associate a circuit judge, judge. Mm -hmm. and a municipal judge in Ferguson for three years and a mediator uh, now. I feel like his experience is great. I My only hesitation that he's not in Webster, but I don't know that that's a fair one. So, I mean, I, I am not quite ready to X him off my list. Okay. But I don't know, Emerson, that you're ready to put him on your list. Karen, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we got, I think we have three solids mm -hmm. that yeah. we all agree on. And if yeah, we that's, that's the thing. Yeah, we got three solids. And I think so, what we're supposed to be giving the council, what, three, three and maybe a fourth? Yeah. But if, you know, looking, you know, I, if, if we look at Terry Brown, I would say, let's, 
put, I think it's a him, him aside and yeah. look at the other two. Okay, Gregory, so Gregory if, we wanted, if we wanted to do Gentry Smith and Jim Larritz and Daniel Nolan as our three solids, if we want to mm -hmm. do a fourth, do you want to yeah. do a professional courtesy and look at our current provisional judge? Um, who does have some experience, or do you want to look at Patricia Susi, who might add a little diversity, so but does who, not have... Who is uh, the, uh, what was the provisional judge? Who was that? B-R-O-U-G-H. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, the one you. with the cover letter with no date, no time, not mm -hmm. addressed to anybody, no <laughs> signature, we have no letter really from, I mean, nothing from him other than filling out this application. I'm sorry. I just kind of think there should be a little more effort and not an assumption that because he's provisional judge, he would be an automatic consideration. Oh, no, I don't think we that, but it's just those other issues just mentioned that caught my eye that the person is Shanna Johnson. She didn't, she didn't sign this letter. It's not dated. And, you know, it's... And she's not here anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then I don't think uh, there is, there was no resume for him. There is no resume from him. We have a cover letter from him. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, yeah, but it's just saying, this is me and here I am. Right. And, uh, yeah. I mean, the, the way that we are going through these other candidates and looking at their experience and what they did and how they may or may not apply, we don't really have the opportunity to do that. If he were not already our provisional judge, I don't think he would be on our list. No, he I agree. And now the question is, because he is our provisional judge, do we want to extend the courtesy of giving him an interview? Right. What's, why not? Okay. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, why I'm not give him an interview? Never, Karen? You said, why give him an interview? No, why no, no. I said, why, why not? I mean, if, if we're extending a courtesy. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. I said, do we want to extend the courtesy? I don't feel obligated that we do based on the applicants that we have. I mean, he was on your list originally, right, Emerson? He's on my list. No, he was a zero. I mean, for my my ticking, he was like in the middle. Oh, OK, I thought like, I thought know. he was on your not no list. Oh, yeah. I, I, he was on my not lit yes list. Yeah. Yeah. If I had to put somebody aside between Terry Brown and this um, Patricia Susie, I think I would put him to the, I would say he's a no. Who, Terry? Or Greg? Greg. Greg. Um, okay. Yeah. So then I guess if we we're putting Terry to the side and Greg to the side, what do we want to do with Patricia? Do we want to make a fourth recommendation or do we want to keep it at the three strong ones? If I look at the three applicants that we looked at, that we, we were safe with, and then the three that that's left is not in our pile, I would say let's go with the three that we chose. Okay. Okay. That's, that's Great. I mean, there's there's nothing that's strong about Susie, uh, you know, besides, you know, me making sure that we do dil dil due diligence on her. <laughs> and, and I think we did. We, we walked so. through this and we looked at it. We didn't just not consider her, mm -hmm. but we, you know. And the same with. Uh, bro. Bro. Mm -hmm. And Terry, I'm, I, you know. I, it, I do like Terry. But I do too. I, <laughs> if I was going to do a fourth, I, I like Terry more than I do. Yeah. But, but I think um, the three that we we had. Oh, but, but then with Terry again, we've got the the challenge with the um, timing and everything. Timing and, and yeah. So that's yeah, we, good. I I'm happy to send Katie a note with what we you know that we talked about each of the applicants and that these are our three um, selections for the council to interview. Okay. Yeah, and. Um, Do we interview these in closed? I don't believe so. I don't know. <laughs> when you interviewed city managers, were they in closed? Um, I, don't, I don't remember, Emerson. Yeah, it was closed because we looked at, we interviewed all those individuals via Zoom. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, but it still could have been just like we have attendees here. I don't remember. I, well, I don't. I, we got we can, one we, attendee. We can ask either way, I think either way is fine. I don't think I don't okay. think there's any reason not to do it in the public like we did the crab applicants. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's fine. But um, whatever so the I protocol we, is, I'm happy with. Well, yeah, we we should. Have, but in the event, we should be able to tell the council why we selected these three and why we mm -hmm. didn't select the others. Well, we're recorded, so they're welcome to. Oh yeah, that's true. Watch the whole thing if they want. I hope I didn't say nothing too wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late now. Uh -huh. I think we're Let's good. See. Okay. Uh, well, that's good. I will um, email Katie and I'll copy you both on that so you see that go out and we'll move forward. All righty. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you good. Oh, good job, y'all. Did we do just the hour? We did oh my it goodness, exactly an hour. How good <laughs> is that? Pretty good. All right. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. All right. Good night. All right. Bye bye. bye.